Let's understand some of the properties of transpose of a matrix. And right now we will be taking property 1. Now property 1 reads something like this. A transpose transpose is equal to A. Now basically if you have to write this symbolically this means that transpose of transpose of a matrix is equal to the matrix itself. Okay? So here you have a matrix A. You found out the transpose of A and then whatever was the resulting thing you again took the transpose of that. According to this property that has to be equal to A itself. Let's do this by means of an example. Let's take a matrix A, okay, which is written as root 4, 5, 2, 2, 3, and 5. Right? Now, when you write the transpose of A, what will that be? We saw in earlier video that transpose of a matrix is equal to a matrix right what is the order of this matrix it's 2 by 3 2 rows 3 columns now transpose is obtained by converting the respective rows into columns so what is here you have basically row 1 which is root 4 5 and 2 so you will write this down as root 4 5 and 2 so first row became first column. R1 became first column, right? Similarly, R2 will become second column. So you will write this as 2, 3, 5. Right? Now if you notice, this is of the order 3 by 2. So we obtain the transpose of A by changing the rows which is R1 and R2 into C1 and C2 into columns. Now if you have to obtain the transpose of A transpose which is you have to obtain a transpose of this matrix. Right? So if you have to do that what will you do? You will change the rows into column again. So let's say this is your row 1, this is your row 2, this is your row 3. So row 1 will become column 1. So you write root 4 and 2 as root 4, 2. Row 2 will become column 2, 5, 3. And row 3 is going to become column 3, 2, 5. Right? Now if you compare these two, you will notice that this is root 4, 5, 2, 2, 3, 5. Or in other words, both these matrix are equal. So we say that A dash, A dash is equal to A, which is the property 1 of transpose of a matrix. Right?